We have to harness the enthusiasm that our young people have for the world around them. I think this is a, a, an incredible moment to, to do that. They're interested in energy policy and how they can preserve the environment. In exit polling in the 2008 election, energy policy was ranked higher as a top issue for voters age 18 to 29 than for any other age group. Part of their interest and society's interest is in changing our daily habits, driving less and more efficiently, walking more, using compact uh, fluorescent light bulbs, bringing reusable bags to the, the grocery store. But young people also need to know that they can turn their passion into successful careers that will support their families. <coughs> Manufacturing remains the sector that can support a middle class with high salaries and good benefits. At the federal level, I'm going to continue to push for uh, STEM education initiatives, investments in green technology, nanotechnology research. We're on the right path. We have to be on the right path. In addition to the Recovery Act, the, the stimulus bill's major investments in renewable energy and efficient energy technologies since the, loss of, since the launch of the National Nanotechnology Initiative in 2000, Congress has appropriated approximately $10 billion for nanotechnology research and development. Sufficient funding for the National Institutes of Health and the National Science Foundation and support for nanotech research and for basic science across the board remain an absolute necessity.